blessed we are <laughs> to be out here tonight, seeing each other's faces, hearing beautiful music from our musicians. Thank you guys for being here. I invite you now that you can take off your masks and we can leave those off for the remainder of the service while we're sitting. Um, and then we would just ask that when uh, you get up to go, we put them back on to keep each other safe. Um, glad we're here together tonight. Last time we had a Vesper service, I mentioned that uh, according to our church historian, Jack uh, Panache, this, when, before there was a church building back in the 1800s, a group of people would meet as, for a Methodist class meeting underneath a group of trees outside. And so in some sense, uh, the services we have tonight are a look to the past as well as a look forward into the future, um, since it's a way we can gather together in the midst of what we're living through. Jack also told me after that service that not only did they meet under trees somewhere else in town, but the actual spot where we're, we're sitting and standing right now is where the first, well, I guess it was the second church building, but the first church building on this site stood before they knocked it down when this one was built. So we're actually sitting in a former church. So we've got lots of history here tonight, um, even as, we get, as, we're, as we're doing something new. Um, which is a good thing, a, a, a sense of circularity and, and, and fun. So, so let's, let's pray together as we get started in our service tonight. God, let our time together tonight be something that sows seeds of joy and of hope and of faith in our hearts. May we be strengthened by this time, strengthened to love you, strengthened to love our neighbor, Strengthen to be sowers of love in the world around us, a world that we know can use more love. So may we sense your presence, your Holy Spirit moving among us as we sit under the trees and the sky, and may it anchor us in hope. We pray in the name of Jesus, who is with us and who shows us the way. Amen. We can't shake each other's hands, but we can still pass the peace. So I invite you to be creative about ways that you greet your neighbors. You can wave, you can, uh, the women's prayer group does hearts to each other. Um, so let us pass the peace of Christ, however you feel moved. <laughs> Our first hymn tonight is I Surrender All, and uh, we invite you, you might know the words, but hum them instead of sing them, uh, and we'll have a chance to participate in a hymn in another way later on in the service. But this is our humming hymn tonight, I Surrender All.
tonight's scripture reading is Psalm 139, verses 1 through 12. And we're going to do a little practice together um, as we hear this psalm. We're going to hear it three times. Um, so instead of, instead of hearing a passage and then me saying some words about it, we're going to listen for ways, things that, this, that God wants to say to us through the passage by hearing it three times in three different translations from three different voices. And so I invite you as you hear it, I'll give you a little prompt before each one, but for this first one, I invite you to listen for a word or phrase that glimmers to you as you hear it. And to just hold that word or phrase in your mind, we'll have a period of about 30 seconds to a minute of silence afterward. Uh, and bring that word or phrase into your mind as something that God might want you to be hearing tonight. So the first translation is from the New International ver Version. Let's listen for the word of God. You've searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before. And you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It's too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light around me become night, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. We're gonna hear Connie read this passage for us a second time. As you hear it this time, pay attention for the images. See what image, what picture God paints in your mind through these words. God, investigate my life. Get all the facts firsthand. I'm an open book to you. Even from a distance, you know what I'm thinking. You know when I leave and when I get back. I'm never out of your sight. You know everything I'm going to say before I start the first sentence. I look behind me and you're there. Then up ahead and you're there too. Your reassuring presence coming and going. This is too much, too wonderful. I can't take it all in. Is there any place I can go to avoid your spirit, to be out of your sight? If I climb to the sky, you're there. If I go underground, you're there. If I flew on the morning's wings to the far western horizon, you find me in a minute. You're already there waiting. Then I said to myself, oh, God even sees me in the dark. At night, I'm immersed in the light. It's a fact. Darkness isn't dark to you. Night and day, darkness and light, they're all the same to you.
So as we hear this passage a third time, I invite you to think about what meaning it has in your life tonight. Not just the words on the page, but what it is they say to your heart. What it could be that the Holy Spirit is inviting you to see or know or do in response to the words. You have looked deep into my heart, Lord, and you know all about me. You know when I am resting or when I am working, and from heaven you discover my thoughts. You notice everything I do and everywhere I go. Before I even speak a word, you will know what I will say. And with your powerful arm, you protect me from every side. I can't understand all of this. Such wonderful knowledge is far above me. Where can I go to escape from your spirit or from your sight? If I were to climb up to the highest heavens, you would be there. If I were to dig down to the world of the dead, you would also be there. Suppose I had wings like the dawning day and flew across the ocean. Even then, your powerful arm would guide and protect me. Or suppose I said, I'll hide in the dark until night comes to cover me over. But you see in the dark because daylight and dark are all the same to you.
before we have a time of prayer tonight, I wanted to have a space for anyone who wants to uh, say something about what you heard in the passage, whether it's a word, just, just a word or a phrase, or whether it's a longer thought you had. Would anyone like to share what, what you heard in the text tonight? Too wonderful. Too wonderful. Too wonderful. That was actually, oh, I got another, go ahead. I, I, it's a, I realize now it's a little hard to, to hear all the, all the way across. Um, didn't, so, so. God's here, in the God's here in the darkness. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> I thought somebody might have heard. One of the. Someone said too wonderful that I can't take it in line from when Connie read stood out to me, which isn't because everything is um, necessarily wonderful on the surface or even in the depths, but because there's beautiful music to listen to and a breeze blowing by um, and people to gather with, and that came to my heart as I as I was hearing it. Let's uh, let's join our hearts together in prayer. God, we come to you tonight with grateful hearts for the chance to gather together in a beautiful place, hearing beautiful music and setting some time apart to focus on you and to be together and to listen for what you are saying to us in a hundred tiny and large ways. Help us listen well. Help us trust that you do in fact care about us, speak to us, guide us, and that we can trust that. We lift up to you the concerns that are on our hearts tonight. People who are hurting situations in our world that cause suffering and pain. And we give those to you, knowing that you see things from a bigger picture than we can. And that you've got it covered. And that you hold each person who is grieving or lost or angry or sad in your love, whether we know it or not. God, help us be people who plant love in the world and help us reap a generous harvest, knowing that our work counts, that our actions count, and that you guide us as we take them. And that with you, um, we are part of making your kingdom real on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you for that privilege and that gift. God, be with us as we go into the week ahead with whatever it brings, whatever joys, whatever challenges. Help us go um, knowing that your presence goes with us and we do not have to be afraid. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Um, so this, this is a uh, percussion participation hymn. <laughs> So we can we can shift gears and get our uh, keys out or our hands out to clap. Um, and and which, which hymn is it? This little light of mine, which is a good one. So we sow the seeds of love and we let our light shine.
all so much for being here and bringing wonderful sounds to us. As you go into the world this week, <laughs> um, be ready to shine your light, know that God shines God's light in each of us, and look for the light of God in other people too, and encourage them to, to, bring, to bring that out. Let us go as sowers of peace, sowers of love, sowers of hope. Go in peace. Amen.
Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>